Hello, I'm your host Marina Kufa and welcome to Cloud and Light Troubadour Paintings by Hongo. I'm here with Bill Blair, who is actor and a Guinness World Record holder in the most special effects makeup characters portray a career. Thank you so much for coming along. <laughs> my pleasure. That Let's was actually my hand up behind her working or not to say all of that. <laughs> yes, we have little ways to get around it, right? Let's talk about you. I love talking about me. Yes, I, I want to know everything about all the experience wearing all the mask and, and, and how long it takes to put it on and which one was your favorite. Do we have until 2019? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, I, it takes a lot to sit there and, and really hold still. It's a special talent all in itself that I actually started doing when I was a child, sitting in front of the television watching cartoons for hours on end and not moving. So uh, the average time from the when I sit down in the makeup chair to uh, actually camera ready for the cameras to roll and everything in there is about three hours. That's not bad. Uh, no. Uh, the longest one I've ever done was actually Frankenstein's Monster. That took five and a half hours. There are people who have taken a lot longer than me, so I don't, I don't feel like, you know, I've had that worst end of it. So how many assistants do you have? How, how many? many? Yeah, how many people help you do it? Actually, it only takes one person to put me into the makeup. Just now, one. sometimes it can take two or three people to get the costume on. Oh, wow. Because it depends on how tight and how many pieces there are. But no, it's usually just one makeup artist that applies all of it. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes time to get it out and take it off at the end of the day, depends on how much overtime I'm into, whether they put one or two people on there. <laughs> If they want to get me out faster, they put two people on and go rip, 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 rip. Right. Like, <laughs> He's done. Get him out of here. So which one was your favorite? Oh, I really, I would have to say, overall, it's Frankenstein's Monster. Frankenstein. So anybody that's actually lived in the States or watched the 1960s TV show, The Munsters, with Fred Gwynn, who did a kind of Frankenstein character, I actually got to wear his original costume from that show. I played Frankenstein's monster, and not just for any project. I got to work with none other than Elvira, mistress of the world. Character and uh, Star Trek. Let's talk about Star Trek, but that's like my favorite. Star Trek, the final frontier, or at least the farthest out yes. we know right uh -huh. now. Yes. Um, I've been on three Star Trek series: Deep Space Nine. Voyager and Enterprise. So I count them up on my hand too to keep myself straight. And then I did the movie Star Trek Into Darkness, which oddly enough, in that series, I really didn't appear in makeup. I actually played a human character in Into Darkness. However, I worked behind the scenes as a digital double for the two leads. Oh, that's interesting too. Which was, a, you know, to where they actually photographed me in 3D from head to toe. And it took like five, six hours to all the characters in the way they needed to be done. So it's a lot of fun, just all the types of special effects, whether it's being applied to me, if it's the way that it works out on camera. It's just a lot of fun. How is people's reaction when they see it? Oh, well, actually, Can you see actually good well in, this, in, in those masks? When I do get to make my personal appearances like this, there are some times when people have never seen me out of makeup, but they know my name. On the other hand, I make the tours of the Star Trek conventions and other sci-fi events where I might run into somebody like Armin Schimmerman or Robert Picardo or um, Robert Beltran um, and the novice or any of these people that have been in a Star Trek series that know me but have never seen my face like you're seeing me right now. This is not just a nice makeup job, folks. This is actually the real me. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but they've seen, they know my voice, but they've actually, and when they see me and talk to me for the first time as an actual human character, it's just priceless to see the look on their face. It's, it's like, it's like an epiphany of, it's you! <laughs> Anybody wants to do is come around and say, oh, we got to touch you up over here today, we got to do this. Oh, your ear so, fell off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it before with, in, in regular life, and we don't have room for a toupee to fall off. No, and I, I'm sure they have. It's gotta stay all day long. Like a super glue and stuff. They have. <laughs> no, no, no. Never, never, ever use super glue to put on your makeup. If you like doing costume, you like doing Halloween, let me warn you, please, do not use super glue. And then we also have very specialized removers that are safe to 
Okay. Use. Is it like an acetone remover? No, no, no acetone. This is not like removing nail polish. We do use you know, we have nail polish remover, so we only have to take nail polish on. But no, it's uh, their actual approved medical adhesive removers. Now, the other thing is you've also got to be careful what you may or may not be allergic to. Some people are allergic to latex, some people are allergic to some of the chemicals mm -hmm. in the removers and the, uh, and the adhesives themselves. I myself, I truly am an alien because what everybody else is allergic to is what I can use, and what I'm allergic to is what everybody else uses. <laughs> yeah, I'm really from out there somewhere. If you a really lot of experience, know. guys. <laughs> I think it will be great to see Bill Blair's tutorial on YouTube to uh, like safety through costumes, right? You want to produce it? Idea. Of course. <laughs> All right, do we'll it do tomorrow. it. <laughs> we'll do it. It will be so much fun. And if, I'm and if you want to volunteer to be a model and, and come in and help out, yeah. just look me up, alienactor.com. You can write to me. This young lady will get together. We'll put something together. I love it. It's a great idea. Uh, let's talk about home a little bit. Have you get familiar before you got here? With Actually, Russia's no. Art? I didn't have time. I walked around a little bit. I saw it when I first came in. Um, I've always been a real fan of art all the way around. Okay. Um, I think anybody who's creative is a type of artist themselves. Uh, I've always loved landscapes, and that's the first thing I notice. I'm looking at landscapes, still life type things, in an abstract sort of way, which is really uh, attractive to me. My favorite kind of art always involves people. I love landscapes with people in it. It gives that life perspective to things. So if you see a mountain way right in the background, you've got just a simple human figure in front of it. You get an idea of how massive that mountain or that hill could be or that tree. Yeah. On the other hand, you put somebody like you in front of just a small plant sitting here on the table, and we see how delicate it is, and yet how beautiful everything is for you and the plant together. Put me in front of Frankenstein. I will look different too. <laughs> we'll leave the bolts out there. Oh, and speaking of Frankenstein, you know that this is the 200th anniversary coming up of Mary Shelley's original Frankenstein. Is it? Yes. Where's the party? <laughs> We're working on it. Okay. I also, uh, I was in a movie called Tales of Frankenstein. It's a movie in four parts, and that'll be out on the anniversary of oh, Mary Shelley's right. Frankenstein's this year. I don't know the exact date, but you can follow it on my website. We can all follow on Bill's website and also you follow on We Got You Media and News of the World. All those updates are going to be there. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and We Got You Media website. Well, do. Thank you so much, Bill. Thank you for coming. Thank and you. Uh,